guess what you guys I'm at the radio station so tune in onto my Instagram and this will be vlogged as well actually we're on the vlog duh <laughs> but this is my very first time and I'm so super excited so I can't wait for you guys to see what's next after this um hopefully you like it great feedback yeah no feedback we gonna rock with it but yeah Mega Montana! Where's the button? Please stop doing who, my girl. Who, like who messing up on my button? Please. You, you messing up on my button? No, nah, you didn't know you had a button. Uh, Maybe don't let them do you like that, bro. We got our own button. I met her through a mutual friend. Um, Cause I was in the studio and I was just hear her music. I, um, I think I met her on Instagram. And I was just like, yeah, I like her music. Like, I like her music. But she actually came to my selfie museum. She booked my museum for uh, one of her music videos. And I was like, oh, I remember you. And she's like, oh. What video was it? Can't tell y'all what. Right, you. Okay. It's, 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 it's something it. cooking, though. Okay. In the kitchen, in my kitchen. Well, it's so stay the fuck out my kitchen. Oh! Ooh. Spicy. No more fried twelve. Look, she. So let's toast, Megan. And whoever else is drinking, you drink it, Nitty? Uh, Just a little, sh a, a little bit? I don't drink you don't drink? Okay, I'm sorry. Put that empty cup up, come on. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> talk to our sponsor, 512 today, having a real thing. You drinking today? No, no I haven't drank in like I gotta figure out some, days. get some people on the show to drink. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Up and coming artist, and I'm not signed, so that's one of my future goals. Um, I want to be a part of the big four. That's like my mission statement. So you know you got Bryson Tiller, okay. you got ESTG, okay. you got um, Jack Harlow, uh -huh. and then hopefully there's me. Is that a hopefully? There is. That's the Mount Rushmore of that Kentucky. That is of Kentucky. My third grade teacher, Miss Baker. Shout out to her. <laughs> Shout out Miss Baker. <laughs> From Fraser Elementary School. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I've been writing since the third grade, and you know, kids were mean growing up to mm -hmm. me. So look. <laughs> Music was my outlet, like so I just wrote about everything. Mm -hmm. So I actually didn't get to the studio till like 2019. Oh wow. Yeah, it took me a while. All I would do is just sit in the house and just consistently write, 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 write. So that's where I get a lot of my good writing skills from. So. I see uh, you posted a couple times about your, your granny. Like what kind of influence was she on you and music? Product of Evangeline. Yes, so that's my grandmother. So about the music, like she had on green. Green's my favorite color. So I just felt like my first EP coming out should be to my granny, you know. And then like my granny, she was just so gangster, raw, wow. uncut. You know what I mean? Like okay. if She's somebody was granny. picking with yeah. the other sisters, they called yeah. my granny. <laughs> so that's what it's about. It's gonna be a little bit turned up and fun, a little bit raw. Okay. So you didn't send us this song, but doing my research on you, man, I found this song, and I was like, why should I send this song like this? This song goes. Then I started doing a little research on it and, and hearing the meaning around it. So I'm gonna play this song first. It's called What Now? Paint the town green. All right. Paint the town green. Yeah, that Doja Cat freestyle. My hoops. I'm giving headaches, I bet them knots coming too I said I'm giving headaches, but them knots coming too I paint the town green and put that on my titties, boo Could give a F about a beast, why can't get sticky in this room, honey Mouth got that shit on, get my sprays, then perfume I'm quick to pause, a nigga got another on resume Treat the shit like coffee, you ain't half a half of me She's talking that ish, you know She's, she's speaking a different language, so I know she's kind of serious about her craft with mm -hmm. Some of the terminology she's using, you know what I mean? Yeah, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, that's one thing that I like when I heard your music is like you actually you use words like you don't you don't just like have to cuss or like say some freaky deaky shit like wow. you just you it's like T.I. 
T.I. be using words and people be like, what? It's like, because you actually use vocabulary. It's crazy you say that. You want to hear this funny story that nobody really knows? Yes. Like it's a secret. Yes. Okay, y'all. So, one day, look, <laughs> I had um, a doctor's appointment. So, my mom is literally dropping me back off at high school. So, this T.I. song came on. It was like, uh, what, how did it go? I think it was Hurt. Like, Hurt, Hurt, put him in the dirt. Boy, you better catch me first. Mm. You know that song? Mm -hmm. It was, look, I love T.I. So, it came on on the radio. <laughs> I said, Mama, I'm going to be a rapper one day. She said, girl, shut up. You're going to be a nurse. <laughs> so, you know what I did? Mm. I dropped out of Spalding University. Who else, who else besides T.I. With my music, you're going to hear a lot of Nicki Minaj, a whole lot of Eve. Love Eve. Mm. Nicki Eve. Woo wee. I want to get up there one day with the visuals with Missy Elliott. Mm. She's very dope. Her visuals crazy. Crazy insane. Like, I still watch her videos still to this day. Like, dead serious. Actually, I did a song, I'm That Bitch. Oh, yeah? Yes, to the Missy Elliott. Yes, I did. So, I freestyled it. So, just to see if I could keep up with my yeah, yeah, my yeah, against yeah. her is the greatest. But, so you'll hear a lot of Missy. My other fave that nobody really mentions, that's the slept on goat. It's Queen Latifah. Mm. 